Today we're going to be fixing the airbag light on uh, 2006 Chrysler 300C and uh, we're going to connect the scan tool here in a second so we can find out what's going on. I got a code B223D which is occupant classification module DTC present so uh, you're going to have to go to the OCM computer to read that code. I want the car to be off to do that. Okay, as you can see, there's still the code for uh, the passenger seat weight sensor there, so there for sure is an issue there, and we're going to figure out what that is. I'm in the OCM data stream now, and as you can see, the sensor that gave us a fault is reading 255 pounds. The rest are close to zero. The other ones have about two to two and a half volts. Meanwhile, the seat weight sensor one only has 0 0.02 volts. So it's probably a broken sensor or a broken wire. So the next thing that we're gonna do is take a look at the seat and the sensor and the wires and see if there's anything damaged or anything obvious that could cause that issue. The seat weight sensor that we're gonna be looking at is right underneath this bar here. It's going to be hard to get at uh, without lifting the seat up. So I'm going to undo the bolts, the four bolts that are anchoring the seat to the floor. And so I can tilt this forward and be able to look at the wires and the sensor and stuff. So there's a 15 millimeter bolt there and there. And there's going to be a 15 millimeter bolt in that hole and one underneath there. So I'm going to take those out and then we'll take a look and see what's going on. The bolts in the front of the seat are 13 millimeter bolts. And I just got all four bolts out. And before you do anything, you could always check the connectors and stuff. I already checked the connectors, made sure nothing, nothing was weird that I could see. And uh, I got the bolts off back here too. So uh, I'm gonna get back there and we're gonna start looking at things. As you can see, it still reads about the same. So uh, I'm gonna get back there and we're gonna see if we can find anything. I leaned it back and slid the headrest off. So I'll be able to tilt the seat forward and take a look underneath here. So uh, right there's the sensor in question. I'm gonna get under there, check the wires, and check the connector and see if I can find anything. Checked all the wiring under here. Nothing seems to be damaged. The connector looks good. So uh, I suspect that it's the sensor here because when I plug it in, it reads nothing. And when I unplug it, it reads the same thing. So uh, I got an extra seat sensor here. We're just gonna plug it in real quick just so we can verify that it changes the reading. So I just plugged that in so we can check if the reading changes. And it says minus 268, 4.71 volts. So it definitely changed the reading. So there's something wrong with that sensor. So we're gonna get that installed and possibly calibrate the seats if we need to. I just slid the seat forward enough so that we're able to get a socket over that because we're going to want to take this bolt out and the nut, the nuts on the bottom, the three nuts there. And uh, yeah, once we take the old sensor out, we'll be able to put the new one in. So I'm going to take these three bolts and nuts out real quick. I just got all the nuts off the bottom here. So now we're going to take the sensor and just slide off there. There's the old sensor. And here's the one we're going to replace it with. So we're going to slide it back up onto these. And I'm going to 
put the bolts back on. As you can see, no codes are coming back. So that sensor cleared the codes and the light for the airbag is off. Now that the seat weight sensors are replaced, the airbag light is now off.